We'll guide you through how to fix a zoomed in iPhone screen. If you find this useful, consider subscribing and liking the video. Let's get into this. First off, do not freak out as there's actually a very simple fix for this. So it's pretty likely you've gone and put your iPhone into zoom mode, which is an accessibility setting. And this may happen on the home screen or on the lock screen or in apps as well. And so to go and disable it, literally all you need to do is go and tap with three fingers like this. So double tap with your three fingers. And just like that, it'll then take it out of that uh, mode. If you tap it again with three fingers, it'll go and put it in. So to go and permanently stop this happening, so when you tap with three fingers, it stops zooming in, all you need to do is go and open up your settings like this. And in settings, you then need to go into accessibility. So you may need to scroll down a bit. And then in accessibility, go and click on zoom just up here. And then what you can do is go and switch it off like that. And then when you tap with three fingers, it's, now, it's no longer gonna work. If that hasn't gone and fixed your problem though, another thing we can try is by doing a force restart on your phone and this is gonna go and fix any glitches or bugs which may be happening. To do a force restart, all you need to do is go and press the increase volume button, then the decrease, and then hold the power button. This all needs to be done quite consecutively. So press the increase, then the decrease, and hold the power button. You may go and see this slide power off screen. If you don't, do not worry just keep holding the power button and soon it's gonna go black like that. Keep holding the power button. As soon as you see the Apple logo, let go of the power button. But if yours never went black in the first place, just do it again. So press the increase volume button, then the decrease and hold the power button. Hopefully your iPhone will then go and restart and the problem will have been fixed and it's no longer zoomed in. For the next fix, we can go and use our computer, whether that be a Windows PC or a Mac. And what we need to do is go and open up something called iTunes on your, on your Windows PC. And if you're using a Mac, you'll need to open up something called Finder. If you don't have iTunes on your computer, to go and get it, just click on search at the bottom and open up the Microsoft Store. And then what you can do is download it from the Microsoft Store. So just wait for it to load and at the top, click on search and then type in iTunes like this and then press on iTunes. And then where mine says open, yours will say get and you can go and press get. And once it's finished, you can then go and open it up. After you've opened iTunes or open up Finder if you're on a Mac, we now need to go and connect our phone. So to go and do this, just go and grab its cable. So you may need to unplug it from your wall adapter and then plug the USB end into your Mac or PC. And then you can go and plug the other end into your iPhone. Now what's important to know is, is your iPhone does need to be unlocked. So this means just on the home screen of your phone. When you go and plug your iPhone into your computer, you should go and get a pop-up if you're using Windows here. And also, if you haven't gone and used the computer and the phone before, you may go and get a pop-up on your phone which says allow. So depending on how your iPhone is zoomed in, you may not be able to go and get to this pop-up, which isn't ideal, but just try and get press on allow if you haven't gone and used the phone and the computer before. And in iTunes, you should then go and see this iPhone icon appear to the right of music. And in your Mac, in the finder on the left hand side, you should go and see your iPhone um, under devices. Then you can go and click on it. And then the first thing you can do is scroll down this summary page here to the bottom to options and then tap on configure accessibility. And then what you can do is make sure use zoom is unchecked. Once you've unchecked it, then press okay. And that should then go and disable it on your iPhone. If that doesn't work or if it's already disabled, then what you can do is scroll to the top of this summary page. And what you can do is either restore your iPhone to a backup. So press restore backup and you can then go and restore it to a backup you made previously or alternatively you can just tap on restore iPhone and this just means you're going to go and reset everything on your iPhone but that will hopefully go and fix any problems with the zoom you're having and things like that. So that may be an option but you will lose everything by doing that. They're the methods. I hope one of them was useful. Please leave a like if it was.